Hi guys, this is Ben Glickson from SI.com, and I'm here with your Pac-12 Spring Football Primer. Now let's begin by taking a look at some programs that underwent some major staff shakeups in the offseason. The first team we should look at is USD, which brought on Steve Sarkeesian to take over in December. Now if you remember, USC got off to a terrible start at the beginning of last year, and Lane Kiffin was famously ousted in an airport terminal. However, then the Trojans turned things around. Ed Orgeron took over, and USC finished strong down the stretch. Look for Sark to continue to build off that momentum, and he's got a couple of key pieces in place. Cody Kessler returns, as does wide receiver Nelson Aguila. The big issue for the Trojans is all in the offensive line, where three starters from last year are gone. The next team that underwent a staff shakeup that I want to talk about is Washington where Chris Peterson comes over from Boise State. Now Washington is in a tougher position than USC. They lose quarterback Keith Price, running back Bishop Sankey, and Siler Miles, a former prized recruit who was supposed to be the starting quarterback of the future, got into an all-field altercation recently and is suspended indefinitely. Now Chris Peterson is gonna take a little time to adjust as he was at Boise State forever before coming here. However, if he's able to replicate any of the success he had with the Broncos, look for Washington to rejoin the top of the conference pretty soon. Finally, let's touch on Oregon and Stanford, who have been the Pac-12 powerhouses for each of the last few years. The Ducks are in a great position, as they return quarterback Marcus Mariota, who is one of this season's early Heisman frontrunners. The bigger issue in Eugene, longtime coordinator Nick Eliotti announced his retirement prior to last year's Alamo Bowl, so they'll be looking to rebuild a little bit there. As for Stanford, quarterback Kevin Hogan returns, but they lose a lot of key contributors from last year's team, including running back Tyler Gaffney, one of the early favorites to fill that role, Barry Sanders. Yes, the son of that Barry Sanders, so that's something to keep an eye on this spring. They've lost a lot of big name guys over the last few years. That includes Andrew Luck, Jim Harbaugh, Stephon Taylor. They've been through this before, and they've still gone to four consecutive BCS bursts. Look for the spring for David Schott to start turning things around once again. The Pac-12 has emerged as one of the nation's deepest conferences recently. And this spring, we'll see if that should continue into 2014. For SI.com, I'm Ben Glicksman.